Hey fruit lovers, <clears throat> I'm out in the garden planting bare root strawberries this morning and as I got towards the end I was thinking that surely somebody has got to want to know uh, the best way to do these if you've never done them before and I've got a couple of beds here under my fig trees uh, that are against my west wall that I think will be a good location and I've got these three beds filled up and finishing this one but uh, the reason I thought that is that if you've never done it before, bare root strawberries can be um, a little bit intimidating, but they shouldn't be. They're easy peasy. And they'll come in a big bundle, all bundled together, and look something like that, usually with some rubber bands tied around them. And if, if you don't know what you're doing, I guess that could be intimidating. But like I said, they're, they're easy peasy. And I'll show you the way that um, that I like to do it. And hopefully the camera will show I got most of the way through this portion of the bed where I've got little cups made with a mound in the middle of them. And traditionally with a bare root vegetable like this and asparagus, they, they will run a, a row, if you will, uh, trench a row down and put a mound of soil in between with a trench on either side and then lay those crowns on top of that and backfill it and that's perfectly okay but uh, in a tight situation uh, and for ease this is the way I do it and you can see I've got all of these done and I simply start out with my hand flat and make me a little spot here and you don't know it now but you'll see it in a minute that's where around that oval is where the roots are going to end up laying and as I get that flattened out a little bit, now I start pressing down, flat hand still, and then cup your hand and grab a big handful of that soil. And if you grab that soil while you're pushing down, because what you're doing is creating a mound right there, and you want this top of it to be you know, pretty close to grade level. Now what that, the purpose of that, whether it's a straight line or a mound like this, is to spread those roots uh, the bare roots out uh, around the crown of the berry and you just want to leave the crown sticking above grade. So that's a pretty simple technique. Uh, you'd be surprised how many you can get done in a short period of time. Let me try it again right here. This is a little bit of a tight space but yeah. then grab um, one more right here and I think you can get the idea. Just Make you out a flat space with a flat hand. Then you just push down. As you're compacting the soil a little bit and pushing down, then just cup your fist and grab your handful of dirt and then leave it there. And you see you've got the mound right here, the area where your roots are going to lay right around here. And then I'll show you how easy that is to um, uh, lay those out and cover them up. Now, this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to try to set the camera down and not have to do any editing on this and show you how this um, bare root works. And like I said, they'll come in a bundle and you just start taking the plants apart. And uh, you notice I've got them in water. Uh, any kind of bare root, where it's a tree or a asparagus or strawberries I put them in water for at least a few hours it was real windy yesterday afternoon so I threw these in and left them overnight and a little mild uh, oh, nutrient to it I put some you know if you want to use something like a super thrive or I use a vitamin B1 a lot and uh, that couldn't hurt just a mild dose of it but what you want to do you see this is the crown this is what you want sticking above ground you can tear off anything that appears to be dead, which they will be, um, you know, some old leaves and stuff like that. Now, take this and turn it upside down, and then just start breaking those, <laughs> I don't want to use the word break, separating those roots out. Say like you've got tangled hair. That's exactly what you're doing, just like it's tangled hair. And you can try to lay those where it's, you know, laid out all the way around the crown, that's best. If it's not, it's no big deal. 
but as you break those tangles apart you'll see how those roots start to flare out and then you don't have to be real delicate with these you can take those and form it just like this now this is the bottom of the plant and I'm going to take that and let's see if I can get uh, let's see if I can get a good photo. Let's try it right here. And you take that and just set it on top of one of those mounds that you made. See, I've got the roots still in my hand. Now, as you unfurl that and hold on to the crown, you see those roots now are all the way around the little mound that you made. And from here, it's pretty simple. Uh, lay those roots into your trench that you made all the way around it and now you've got a mound of dirt around your plant from where we couple that up just bring it in and it's just that simple there's nothing intimidating about it if you just know a little bit about what you're doing you can pack that in and there you have a bare root strawberry planted. Again, you can do this with asparagus and several other things like that. Won't take me just a few minutes to figure that out, finish that up. And uh, for somebody who's never done it, I sure hope that helps you. Don't be intimidated by it. It's pretty easy peasy. Happy gardening. See ya.